warm up. It's going to be good. We'll get along just fine. You got to find where the applause lines are and then just clap. That's what you got to do. It's going to be uncomplicated. I will not be cutting jokes the entire time, but levity helps here this evening. Um, I'm certain that you're all very much aware of the climate that we uh, are all operating and working under. And so with that in mind, these types of events take on a certain um, urgency, if you will. And it is a challenge for us to not simply just talk about diversity and inclusion, but operationalize our conversations and engage in meaningful solutions. Ellen Powell wrote just briefly that she thought diversity and inclusion had been almost solely relegated to raising awareness. I think we can do better than raising awareness. And at GDIB, we intend to raise the standard and raise the game because the stakes are particularly high. You know the urgency, you know the tone that we've got in our country, and we have an opportunity to do something about it. Tonight, you're gonna to get a chance to do something about it. So I'm excited to have you here at GDIB Seattle. The guy that we're talking about is the Global Diversity and Inclusion Benchmark, standards for organizations around the world. My name is Kurt Meek. Mead, I am your host for this evening. That is also an applause line. Okay. Work with me. I got. I, I can't keep telling you. You just got to jump in there. It feels right. You just. You just clap. You cheer something. Yeah. Folks, we got to. This work. This work needs your energy. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. This work needs your energy in a very meaningful way. Uh, we have to name it and claim it. We have to call it out for what it is. That's right. Right. For all the folks who are invested in this work, for all the folks who benefit from this work, I'm not going to preach. She's out here. She's out in church. <laughs> I come from a long line of preachers, so we could do church, but we're not going to do church. But we are going to name it and claim it, and we're going to talk about it explicitly for LGBT communities, for our communities of color, for our non-binary, our transgender, right, agender. We're going to name it and claim it, and we're going to fix it because that's what this is about. GDIB is about a blueprint, a roadmap for operationalizing things we've only simply talked about in the past. I'm going to keep you on pace, so I'm going to stop talking right now. And welcome to the stage, Google's Vice President and Site Lead for both Seattle and Kirkland, Eric Young. Eric. Well, thank you for the intro there. Great having everyone here today. Uh, again, my name is Eric Young. I'm the Site Lead for Google's Seattle and Kirkland offices. We're very excited to share our event space with you tonight. Hopefully we get the mic working a little louder for everyone here. So I submitted a ticket. Hopefully we'll see how fast that gets. <laughs> if you're watching on the live stream, we need help with the mic. Uh, but I know, really appreciate everyone being here today. Uh, we're very happy to be able to sponsor, or not sponsor, support this event. And really appreciate everyone coming out. I thought I would share just briefly a few things um, about me and then Google's focus on the diversity and inclusion efforts here at the company and then turn it on so you can get moving with your show. Um, but real quickly, um, I lead a team that's responsible for deploying Google's compute and network infrastructure. So if you wonder, I met some person from Google, what do they actually do? You can just say I worked on maps. It's probably a lot easier. But if you, if you want something harder, um, I actually work on deploying the software infrastructure that supports Google's servers and network environment. Uh, but I thought I'd take just a few minutes to talk about why uh, diversity and inclusion is really important to Google and how it kind of manifests itself in terms of the work that our teams do and the products that we build as well. And it really starts from the top uh, with our CEO. Uh, Sundar actually um, is a strong evangelist for the work we're doing in this front. And he's got a quote that he reminds us of all the time, which is that a diverse mix of voices leads to better discussions, decisions, and outcomes for everyone. And the important point for us to remember here is that we build products for a world environment, not just the people who are in Fremont, in the center of the universe today, um, but for users all around the world. We want to make certain that the products that we build um, reflect the users that actually use it across the world. So as we look about building teams and building an environment that we can make inclusive for all of our employees, um, we kind of think about four pillars of how to put that together. The first one is on the hiring side. Um, we do a lot of work to make certain that uh, we expose um, youth to the opportunities to work in technology. And we have a few programs at Google that um, exist in the Bay Area, but also up here in Seattle. I thought it's been just a couple minutes going through it and then let you go on with your uh, program, but the, the main thing there is exposing um, people to computer science um, from underrepresented groups early in their uh, career. And so one of the things we do is we have a program called uh, the Computer Science Summer Institute. We recognize that a lot of students 
don't have the opportunity in their high school to learn computer science. So we put together a program where they can actually, um, in high school, upon graduate, or when they graduate from high school, spend three weeks and actually learn about um, the fundamentals of computer science and get that uh, curriculum and training done here uh, at Google and uh, hopefully take that skill with them to the next role that they have. Um, in addition, we want to make certain that people who are in schools that uh, may not uh, have a, like a robust computer science program have the opportunity to be able to pick up uh, on-the-job experience and be able to do that through uh, in engineering practicum where they basically spend um, a couple months over the summer and build out those skill sets and actually um, learn the skills necessary to move into technology. So in terms of um, our efforts, hiring is a big focus. Uh, we also want to spend a lot of time on making certain that the work environment is uh, fair and inclusive to all employees. And so at Google, 74% of our people have actually gone through um, un unconscious bias training. This is an opportunity to really understand um, that unconscious bias is real, it does exist, and make our employees comfortable about talking about it and calling it out and managing it in the work environment. And so this is something that, um, as a company, we take a lot of, uh, a lot of focus on to ensure that we actually address it and all of our employees know how to confront it when they see it uh, in the workplace. The last two pillars that we're focusing on is education. So on the education side, um, we do want to expose people to um, computer science at a very young age. We do a lot of tours um, to give people the opportunity to understand what it's like to work in this profession um, and obviously work um, with various programs such as um, Girls Who Code, um, the uh, Urban League and Technology Access Fund to make certain that people are able to um, get that experience on the job. Or, or get that experience of working with people who have this as their primary job. And last, we want to work on closing the digital divide. So that's all about making certain that we're providing equal access to the web. And we do that a lot through programs such as providing free Wi-Fi at the Seattle Public Library or through various sites um, throughout our libraries uh, in Seattle uh, region. So last, I'll just conclude by saying, um, you know, since 2011, Google's given $14 million um, to the Seattle area to focus on uh, causes that help promote STEM education, uh, carbon reduction, and equal access to the web. And so this is a cause we really care uh, deeply about. We're really grateful that we had such an amazing turnout here tonight and for the founders and the organizers of the event to put all this together for us this evening. So welcome to Google. Enjoy the free food in the back. There's restrooms <laughs> to the left. Uh, if you have questions, happy to take any during the break. But thanks again for coming out here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Um, this event cannot happen without the sponsorship, the support that we need to make these types of initiatives go. And I want to take, a to take uh, our, some time to, first of all, thank again our platinum and venue sponsor, Google. Please give it up again for Google. As well as our funding sponsors, uh, gold sponsor, Outreach. Silver sponsor, Zillow Group. Yeah, you can give me a call, please. Bronze sponsor, BEC organizing sponsor, SM Diversity, and the Institute for Sustainable Diversity and Inclusion. Please come on. <laughs> of course, we have promotional sponsors. I don't know if you're aware of this, but this event sold out quick. Did anyone know how, sold, how quickly it sold out? Two days. Two days. Two days. That doesn't happen without incredible support from promotional sponsors. And I want to give them all just a quick shout out here. Uh, AdaQuest. Artemis Connection, Canadian Center for Diversity and Inclusion, Code Fellows. Code Fellows has an event on 1012. You want to check out their website for more details. Diversity, Diversity Equity Inclusion, Community of Practice, Diverse City LLC, DiverseCentral.com, Diversity Collegium, Eastside Race Leadership Coalition, Executive Development Institute, Figure 8 Consulting LLC, Global Peaceful Paths, Henderworks Consulting, Housing Development Consortium, HR West, Imperity. I'm really looking for some applause because I'm building this up. Reach out and the the Forum for Workplace Inclusion and Uniquely HR. Please give all a round of applause. I'm looking for encouragement. This work is emotionally draining. If you can't clap here, you can't clap anywhere. So I need you to get into it. I'm going to quickly review our agenda so you know what's happening this evening. It's important to get these details out of the way. Our first hour, we're going to meet. Julie O'Mara, co-author of the GDIB. We're going to do an overview of the GDIB with some of our uh, expert panelists. And then we're also going to have a response from some of our, our sector leaders uh, regarding the GDIB. In our second hour, we're going to divide up into 15 breakout sessions. 
you will get really good and clear instructions about the breakout sessions. You're at Google, the center of the world, the center of the universe. You cannot roam, though. <laughs> it's weird being the center of the universe and yet cannot roam. Right. Um, third hour, we're going to gather back here at the center of the universe and debrief on next steps. And we'll end promptly at 9. I'm going to be keeping us on pace. If we're off pace, I'm certain that somebody will tell me. All right. So, without further ado, I would, I'm delighted to introduce Julie O'Mara. She is a co-author of the GDIB, and she's coming to us from Las Vegas, projected, of course, on Google Hangouts. Julie, are you with us? Oh, Julie, I, give us one second here. We, we can't quite hear you. Try it again, Julie. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Brilliant. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please, a warm round of applause for Julie O'Mara. Many years. 
Barbara Dean. So Barbara, can I get you there? Thank you. With the Global Diversity and Inclusion Benchmark Vanguard Award. appreciate the recognition of Barbara Dean. I'm going to bring Barbara uh, back to the, to the stage. Uh, Barbara is co-director um, of the Institute for Diversity and Inclusion, and she has with her Randall Lane, who's senior executive consultant and executive coach inclusion, Inc. And they're going to give us an overview of the GDIB. So please, a warm round of applause for Barbara Dean. <laughs> 